Well, got this free insurgent virtual movie thingy. I'm not sure when I'm gonna use this after what I saw tonight. Insurgent is a sequel to Divergent, released last year, and based on a trilogy of the Divergent series novels. Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and Four, which came out last year, as novels as well. And in this movie, Triss, played by Shailene Woodley, is back with a neatly haircut. And also some of her friends or enemies are back. In Divergent, it is set in the ruins of Chicago, and in this city, there are five factions, five groups. A lot of stuff goes wrong, so in this movie, Insurgent, Triss and Tobias, played by Theo James, both team up and get a bunch of allies to take down this evil dictator played by Kate Winslet, who is basically a reference to President Snow from The Hunger Games. That's what it is. It's like watching Mockingjay, sort of. And that's it. Form a group and take down the enemy. For some of you, this movie is like driving a car. You're driving on a highway, then you crash. You steal a car, you drive to another road, and then you crash again, and again, and this movie is all over the place and sometimes incomprehensible because you got a whole bunch of things that are happening. Now for some people who have read the book, like I did, this may not be a problem sometimes. For me, I didn't have that problem. Sometimes. And that's mainly because I read the book, so you means you know what is going to happen. Which is great, but that's the problem. When a movie is based on a bestseller, you need to pay attention to the audience. The movie needs to aim it at the people who have read it, and to the people who have not read the book. I mean, imagine what would happen if I went to this movie without knowing anything about Insurgent. I wouldn't understand things, and that is the problem. Don't make a movie just for the people who have read the book, also make it for the people who have never heard of anything. I mean, I could watch The Hunger Games and not read the book. I could watch The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit trilogy without reading the book, and I still understand everything. So for me, I watched this movie and I know what was going on, and I bet the people who have read the book also understood what they were seeing. The action scenes were great. I liked the action scene in the beginning of the movie. The visuals were good, even though it feels a little fake. Shailene Woodley, she was good. She gave it her all and you know what she is going through. You feel sorry for her because from the last movie, there are some tragedies, and there was one scene where she broke down because of what happened, and I felt like crap. Even reading the book, I felt the same way. The rest of the characters, Theo James, Kate Winslet, Ansel Elgort, Miles Teller who is missing his drum kit, uh, I was not really happy with these people, especially with Theo James and Kate Winslet. They all seem wooden to me. Now, Theo James, you see him in the film. Woodley and James have this romantic relationship in the movie. You see how he acts in Divergence, so in this movie, you expect to see more, right? Well, he is all the same and there is nothing new about him and that's it. He's there in this movie because he was in the first movie. Kate Winslet, I suspected her to be more intimidating. Like, she's a villain for God's sake. In Divergent, at least she threw some punches, but here, she just walks around with a clipboard, experimenting with people, and acting serious. So I didn't really feel the threat that much. From a sequel, you suspect to see more, but I feel like she goes more downhill from the first movie. The rest of the characters, they're all wooden. Miles Teller was probably the second most interesting of all, but he pops up there, there, and there, and there's nothing much. There are new characters, but they are there for a few scenes, and you are stuck with these current characters. And that's it. You cannot have a film where only one character is saving the movie. You need support. But this doesn't mean that this movie is horrible. If you are a fan of the books, then give this one a shot. 
You may like it compared to other people who haven't read the book, but it may get to a point where you're gonna take parts from the movie and say that it could have been better. So this movie is not the best, but it's not like you're gonna hate it either. You're probably gonna like it more than me, or you'll be split about it. And split is a good word to describe this movie, because I'm giving this film 5 flying houses out of 10. So, that is my review of Insurgent. Thank you for watching. More views on the way.